What's going on guys and welcome back to another brand new Division 2 video. In today's video, I'll be going over the methods that I use to boost my gear score up super fast so you guys can get to gear score 500 as fast as possible. If you guys do enjoy the video or find it helpful, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But without further ado, let's get right in the video. I'm going to do my very best to make this video short and to the point giving you guys all the methods that I use. Also, so I don't get attacked in the comments, I do want to make it super clear that I am basing these methods off of the fact that most people should at least be somewhere near the gear score 450 by now, and also at least world tier 4 by now. But overall, everything still applies no matter what gear score you are or no matter what world tier you're in. So starting off with the basics, you should complete all of the invaded missions. Once you do actually reach world tier 5, you should get better gear than you already currently have, and that should pretty much be a guarantee no matter which of the missions you are actually doing. Also, I did want to quickly throw this in there. I know it might be a hassle for some people, but if you do get any gear or any weapons that you don't like, or maybe they don't necessarily give you better stats for your character, literally, who cares? Equip them anyways. Otherwise, your gear score overall for your build is never going to increase, which means all the drops that you get, whether or not from the Dark Zone, Open World, from missions, caches, doesn't matter what it is, uh, the gear score drops from those are never going to increase and they're never going to be higher. Next is the Dark Zone, specifically the Occupied Dark Zone. Now, the reason for this is because of this specific Dark Zone, drops the best gear and weapons but the only problem is that this is obviously like the actual true dark zone meaning that people are going to show like literally no mercy they're going to kill you when you're extracting they're going to take your loot and they're going to pretty much clear out everything if it is a pretty hot dark zone for the most part if you are a solo player i wouldn't really recommend going in the dark zone unless you are really that confident in your build or unless you somehow manage to get into a dark zone that is pretty much like dead and none of the landmarks are clear out and none of the name bosses are gone, then by all means go ahead and keep on farming that, but obviously just know that there is going to be risk and you are taking a chance. Now for some people this may not necessarily be an upgrade like you guys see on the screen in my case, but I really would recommend checking all of the vendors at the settlement as well as the White House like you guys see on the screen now and also the secret vendors. Some people get pretty significant upgrades, but obviously, like you guys see right now, I didn't really get any of an upgrade because my gear score is pretty much already almost 500. Next is one of the main methods that I use because I normally play super late at night and I don't really have anyone to grind with. But like I've talked about in previous videos, the underground is literally a perfect place to farm as you don't really have to kill any enemies other than named bosses and you're going to be getting some pretty good loot as well. In the underground, I did mainly find gear with high ranks rather than weapons, but nonetheless, uh, this is a super easy method to grind if you are a solo player. Next are control points. Obviously, you can choose what level control points you want to do, whether or not it's level 1, 2, 3, or 4, but obviously, just remember, the higher the level, obviously, the harder they get, but also you got to remember that you will get better gear if you are doing it at level 3 or level 4 control points. Now last but not least, I do think this is the most important aspect of getting your gear score up super fast, uh, which is going to be going to the crafting station and also the recalibration system. Now obviously you can see right now that I do have the crafting station on the screen right now, and I'll go down to two of the weapons that I pretty much craft a lot, which are the FAMAS and the Police M4. Now obviously I have my crafting station ranked, ranked up to world tier 5 which means that uh, any weapon that I craft from these are going to give me a gear score of 450 to 490 uh, and it just so happened that one of the first M4s I crafted gave me a 487 gear score and the first FAMAS that I crafted gave me like a 470 something which I obviously don't use it anymore but at the time it was a super high gear score so uh, just keep in mind though that this is uh, a super good way but also you do have to realize that it is going to be uh, taking away a lot of your materials because obviously it does take steel carbon and your components to craft it although uh, mainly it just seems that I run out of steel and the uh, and the carbon fiber mainly but that's just one of the ways going over to the recalibration system uh, you guys can already see that some of my stuff is like already maxed out 502 500 uh, 49, 545, 44. Uh, we're not going to be looking at the weapons, just mainly the gear. Uh, pretty much if you have two, piece, uh, two pieces of average gear that are like at 460 uh, and like 475 and you have a stat that you want to transfer that pretty much like either maxes it out or makes it super close to max, uh, chances are it's probably going to put it up like 30 to 40 gear score. I know it doesn't sound like it might not just from changing one little stat, but uh, obviously you guys can see it modified my skill power on this mask. 
and it maxed it out at 171%, which is why my gear score is 502, obviously. So uh, just keep that in mind. But once again, like I said before, this does take a lot of your materials away. So just keep that in mind. If you guys have a lot of credits and you guys have a lot of materials, then obviously you can uh, you can use all that away and then grind it back. But if you don't, uh, I would recommend just going into the open world and just farming a bunch of that stuff. Quickly before I do end the video, I just want to show you guys pretty much what I'm working with in terms of my builds right now. Uh, I'm not really specifically going for a build right now because I'm trying to get super close to 500. Um, I'll actually start going for my build when I get like 498, 499, and 500. Uh, but right now, these are pretty much the main guns that I'm using are my Police M4 and the Vector. Everyone knows that the Vector is pretty much the best gun in the game because of the fire rate, 1.3k fire rate, and I have Allegro on it, so it's going to be shooting even faster. But um, those are the two guns that I'm working with right now, and then obviously I just have a bunch of random pieces. I literally have a True Patriot piece on here that I uh, that I happened to get from one of the missions that I did yesterday at 489. But uh, there's really nothing special in terms of what I'm using for my build. Um, if, like I said before in the beginning of the video, if I get a piece of gear that's better than something that I had before, then I literally just throw it right onto my build. It doesn't matter if it makes my stats worse or if it makes it better. Uh, this is just all random stuff. This isn't my final build. This isn't what I'm going for. Uh, I'm just kind of using these as placeholders, I guess, would be the best uh, meaning for this uh, until I get closer to that threshold of 498, 499, and that 500 gear score, if that makes sense to you guys. But guys, that is going to do it for the video today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, Make sure you guys drop a like and a subscribe channel if you guys are new. If you guys have any questions regarding this specific topic for this video, uh, make sure you guys throw that down in the comment section below. As well as I want to know what your guys' gear scores are. If you guys are close to 450 or if you guys are above 450, maybe at 500 already, make sure you guys throw them down in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.